Hi, it's me again with Career Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody took my suggestion from a video a long time ago and found butterflies on DA fonts. This is actually the letter F. But if you go through their butterflies and he's picked this one, he wants to run on a plasma table. He wants to, he's having trouble uh, extending this to make these bigger, uh, making it more a little uh, symmetrical and getting rid of this part and get it ready for plasma cutting, uh, but this will help anybody. So if we go left click, right click, there's your outline. We're actually gonna make it red. It is already a hairline. And we're gonna hit P, put it in the center of the play, page. Uh, most, if not, uh, so first thing you need to do is convert it to a curve. Now it's no longer a text. And if we take our shape tool and select all those, we have 601 nodes. Let's write that down. 601. Because we're going to reduce those nodes. <clears throat> we're not going to do it right off the bat. But since this is now in the center of the page, I do this a lot. I take a two-point line, and I draw it with a, a control button down and hit P. And then I'm just going to kind of look. And it, this particular one doesn't matter what size, side side. I'm just going to take and I'm going to delete everything on that side of the line. He did not want that center feature, so I'm just going to delete it. So now you have a butterfly, and we have probably reduced the nodes by over half because we got rid of that section. Uh, well, what I would probably do at first, and you wouldn't have to do this, I'm going to press 20 on our slide bar. And look how many, now we're down to 96 nodes. A lot more friendly for a laser or a plasma cutter. Now, but he wants these parts, if I understood his email right, to expand outward more so. <clears throat> this is really easy and it kind of, you know, makes it uh, fun and <clears throat> whether you have any artistic ability. And, you know, you could do anything with this. I would not have an inside curve. I would have an outside curve, so I'm just going to take my handles. This is a lot more friendlier to a plasma cutter. So that only has three notes. I would maybe actually even get rid of this little part, but that's personal preference. And then just do the same thing. Just, you know, expand these out and... You know, you'd want to probably expand that out and uh, being back to plasma cutting, you want to get rid of those sharp turns. Um, the plasma cutter will do it, but if you've never been around a plasma cutter, it gets really, really hot. And so, and, and then it, in a neat way, it's kind of your butterfly. And just, you know, even here, make that a swooping turn and, you know, you could actually have it kind of go around that other piece. You know, you'd want to do some measurements uh, for thicknesses of your machine and, you know, make sure you've got enough uh, support there. You know, I mean, just keep moving stuff around. You could maybe even take, let's try to just take this, grab this line and just bring it like that. You'd still want to change your handles um, so it doesn't look so sharp. Same thing there, I would make this kind of mimic the shape of the uh, the other part of the, and this is, this is just me, this is just personal preference. Um, and then just keep doing that all the way around. And, and then like look at places like this where there's sharp corners, just delete them. And then maybe turn this guy, turn this the opposite way. Ugh having trouble and grab this and just make it more friendly. If you think about your uh, plasma cutters having to move, let's try to delete both those nodes. That didn't work. Let's try to delete one of these nodes. That kind of worked. That didn't work because it's, it's part of the, the shaping tool. I'd get, you know, after you made this whatever size you want, I would actually, let's try this if you have X7 or above, take the smoothing tool and smooth this out. 
you know, just kind of smooth it out a little bit. You need to click on it till you see your nodes and then see how I just smoothed it out and it really made it ready for plasma cutting. Uh, you could actually do the same thing on these other outside parts, you know, just a little bit. You still want, I would, you would really want to look at your antenna and uh, get back to your shape tool and maybe delete those two nodes. Um, maybe not the best, but you, you've got to think about some strength. Uh, you've got to think about, um, you know, burning. Uh, take out every node you can possibly take out. Like that node was not necessary. That node, not necessary. Uh, that node might change it all together, but it actually changed it to the better. There's two nodes right here together. Try just deleting one of them and see what happened. And, you know, there again, I would make this a, a rounded corner. And, you know, who's going who's gonna to say what's neat and what's not neat? So now you've got it done. Uh, now we've got it down to 66 nodes. One-tenth of, well, we need to double it. So I'm going to Control-D and make a duplicate. And holding down the Control button, I'm going to mirror it. Now, as always, I would put a rectangle around in case you get a leak and fill that in and you've got a, and it also helps you look, you know, that might look a little funny. So you might want to change that up. But if you'll take your smart fill out of the way and left click, right click and save that as a DXF. And now we have 170 nodes compared to 601. And I think the butterfly is going to look better. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.